Hello again, and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll perform a t-test for mean using the data analysis tool pack in Excel 2016 Office 365. Also in this video, we'll be fooling Excel in order to perform the test since, as you will see, Excel doesn't have a t-test for one mean but for two means. So the example here is similar to the example for the z-test that we did earlier, which you can look for on my channel. It's auto racing. Pit crew claims that its mean pit stop time is less than 13 seconds. We select a random sample. 32 pit stop time given below. Is there enough evidence to support the claim at alpha equals 0.05? So here we don't have the population standard deviation as in the previous video, which means we cannot do is that test. So let's look at the data analysis tool pack and as you can see that we have t-test for two samples paired two samples for means two sample assuming equal variances and two sample assuming unequal variances similar to the z-test we created dummy values here you now for the t-test it's very important to create more than one zero as the dummy because if you keep only one you're going to get error for the variance and for the rest of the result. So since our dummy would have a mean of zero and variance of zero and our actual data set will have different variance, that's why we're going to choose the two sample assuming unequal variances. Click OK and we're going to go and select the data values for the first set. We're going to select the dummies for the second set the hypothesized mean difference is 13 because it's the difference between the two means the two claim this is 13 this is 0 13 minus 0 is 13 we're going to assume alpha is 0 0.05 and we're going to put the output range over here and we're going to click OK now, the claim is less than 13, which means the mean less than 13 will go in the alternative hypothesis, similar to the previous video, and the null will be greater than or equal 13. Here, we know that since it's less than 13, that means we have a left tail test. So we're going to look at the T stat and the critical one or we can look at the p-value and compare it to alpha so the p-value one tail definitely is greater than alpha 0 0.2 alpha 0 0.05 so the decision would be fail to reject same idea the critical value is 1.69 since it's a left tail we take it as minus 1.69 and the t stat is minus 0 0.66, which means it's going to be over here to the right of the critical region. Also, the decision would be fail to reject. So if we enter the value here, p would be 0 0.255, 7, alpha is 0 0.05. Definitely, the decision would be fail to reject, which means at the 5% level of significance, there is not enough evidence to support the claim that the mean pit stop time is less than 13 seconds. So to summarize, you need to create a dummy of more than one zero value. You need to do a t-test assuming unequal variances. Just select the first data set the second one which is the dummy the hypothesized mean difference which is the difference between the two means since the second mean is zero it's whatever you have over here and the claim and choose your alpha output range and you will have the answer if this was a two-tailed test the only difference is either you're going to take the p for two-tailed test or 
the critical value for two tail and make the decision based on that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and look for more videos.